How do we anticipate complications? Hi, Roy Nassari again to share another case with you. This patient had initial treatment done in China several years ago, but complains of a sinus tract that comes and goes over the past year. His general dentist asked me to assess restorability as the endodontist. You could see on radiographs there's a radiolucency, an open margin, and looks like an irregular post buildup pattern. Bite wings are really important to assess these cases properly. A triple tray impression was taken preoperatively, then the PFM was sectioned with diamond and crosscut transmetal burrs. The microscope allows us to confirm that there are no furcal perforations. Ultrasonics were used to initially vibrate these castings, uh, really just to look for which one is, uh, which segment is more loose. You can see here, I used the buck tip and high speed just to kind of break things apart. And the buckle segment on the bottom of the image, on the bottom of the video, you can see just popped right off within moments. Then the underlying cement and buildup material was, was prepared with diamond. As you know, I like the 850 or the 856. Buckle canals were found, the orifices, and the MB2 that was missed was clean and shaped. Two visits to complete this treatment. Amalgam buildup was placed after the root canal was done. Controversial, yes, but uh, they didn't need a post, and I wanted to have something strong in there. Uh, the prep looks nice. I, I roughed out the crown prep, and temporary crown stayed on again. Always nice, so the patient is now back with the dentist ready for the new crown. Thank you. Please leave me a comment.